I'm here with none other than Joseph Von D. It's, me. it's him. It's me again. It's him again. <laughs> when he's got his, he's got his homemade wool. Look at size of that. Look at width of that. Hey. That's like that loggerhead, big loggerhead. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, join us because we're gonna uh, we're gonna cook up some grub, set up a camp, and spend some time in woods once we found somewhere to pitch. Either that, or we might be calling out international rescue pretty soon. Yeah, we might be medicked at the bottom of here because <laughs> in our mind we want to get to the bottom of this hill and it is steep. It's disappeared. Where is? Where are you going? Do you need help? Are you all right? What happened? Uh, right. He's stuck. <laughs> That's thumbnail. Ah. <laughs> what happened? Down. Is, this in the <laughs> Is it? Can we? Oh. Are we making a terrible oh, mistake? Oh. <laughs> what was it, Hull? Right. Can I avoid it? Or am I going to suffer the same fate? You just went down there, didn't you? Yeah. <sighs> I've missed this. <laughs> oh. Just. Just ambling through places we don't know, looking for somewhere to bed down for night. There's like cavernous holes, isn't there, because of all the rock formations. <laughs> Just know this, we're in woods, a big wood. Bambi on ice. Uh, Bambi on cat. Beautiful. Slack handful of amethyst deceivers, which we shall, in fact, there's loads of them. We'll have them. The Osprey Ether 70. It's been a while, but let me tell you, I absolutely love this bag. It carries the weight better than any bag I've ever used. Joe's in his trusty, got his trusty. Whoa! The big one. The, the big gun. The big caboodle. The, tank. the logger head. I mean, it says 45, but. It's not because the. the, the <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Even even that though, you're like, that's a lot. It, it seems a lot. Too, it's cavernous in it. I just love them pouches outside. So yeah, these being 12 and a half, but again, they like, you can fit your whole billy can in there, yeah. your tent, your sleeping bag. No nonsense. Big no dump, nonsense. Dump pouch, innit? Then you've got like this molly system on the front where you can put a load of stuff and on the lid. Which I've never exploited. No, you don't need to. It's so big. Yeah. And it's just yeah. not going to fail you. This DD's been going since day one, mate. This is your, that DD that you originally bought. Oh my God, that Vintage. I bought. This is a vintage DD hammock, I mean tarp. This is one. this is maybe 11 years old, 10 or 11 years old. Vintage stuff guys, we've been doing this. <laughs> right, that looks mint. Check, check, one, two. Tales from the cabin. Should we make it even more cosier? This will do, candles look. Like that. Here we are. That's, that's all I've got. It's not very good, is it? This video is sponsored by Beer 52. Let's have a quick look. Those buffoons over in the woods, oh, <laughs> didn't know what they were doing. So, let's get into it. First of all, down the side of your box, the Ferment magazine. This just gives you loads of details and information on all the breweries that are featured in this month's box. We've got the snacks. Them lined up, look. If you fancy a case of new and exciting beers from across the northeast, and why wouldn't you? This is for you. The lovely lot at Beer 52 are offering you an exclusive Hayes Outdoors offer, and they're adding two extra beers for free. So that'll be 10 northeast beverages. Just go to www.beer52. That's B E E R, the number five, number two, dot com forward slash beer haze. All spelt, and it's haze, H A Z E. You just cover the $5.95 postage, and that's it. It's all yours. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you, you'll know that I'm quite partial to a, a craft beer from time to time. It's like an immersive. Uh, beer drinking experience because you've got your magazine your snacks all your different beers get together with your pals and chat about the different beers and 
check the tasting notes and learn a bit about the brewery. If light beers are your thing, you can tick the box to get the light beers, you can get dark beers, or you can get a mix of both. Let's have a look. Which one should we choose? I think it's got to be, hasn't it? The Eternal. It's the Beer World Cup winning session IPA. Or David Bellamy. Drive by the Engulf. Oh. It's like running through a pine forest, being chased by a leather bear. Wonderful stuff. Let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, golden. Focusing issues. Come on, brother. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Absent friends. Oh, yes. Oh, it's beautiful. A little bit bitter at first, and then it's it's like citrusy, caramelly, a delicious award-winning beverage from my good pals up at Northern Monk. And that's just one of these many delightful beers. So yeah, you can head over, get yours now for just the price of the post and packaging, which is 5 95 That's amazing. And you can cancel at any time. Just head over to www.beer5252.com forward slash beer haze and get yours today. Thanks for watching. Back to the woods. Look at this. It is, it's been a while. These magic beans, look. Look cool, don't they? These are biodegradable um, catapult ammo. They just sort of explode and then rain just takes them out of the game. So we're going to use these and Joe's going to remind us all what he, uh, uh, that he is Hawkeye. Uh, <laughs> it's been so long, hasn't it, that we've, since we've fired these bad boys. Let's see if you've still got it. We're just shooting these. I don't even know if we'll knock these over. Do you remember how to hold it? That's it. Born, born with one in my hand, mate. Born with one in his hand, wasn't he? And he's going to prove it now. <laughs> I would like you to nominate one of them, please. Yeah, one of them, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, one, yeah. Any one of them, yeah. Which one? Uh, all of them. One shot. What? <laughs> uh, one up left. Near. Nearest or not left, yeah? Yeah, nearest one up left. Absolutely miles off. I think it were close. He's still got it. Was it <laughs> He's still got it. That's good to I see. I think it was probably close. It's been so long. We can take out the ferret one of these then. No. Organic. Organically take it out. Yeah, organic ferret hunting. So I'll go for that le what far left. Hit it. He did. He did. There you go. There's Joe holding the selfie stick <laughs> close to the target, putting himself in in danger. I prefer you to go, bro, but you didn't. You hit the target, mate. Right, here we go. Savage. Savage. It's good to know that in the uh, in the um, inevitable apocalypse. I'm still going to Mark's banana. <laughs> I've still got it. Have you still got it? <laughs> if what it is is not being able to use a catapult, then yes, he has still got it. The woodland floor is just a river. Ooh. I don't fancy getting a wet foot. <sighs> wow. Oh, shit, picture. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's solid ground, it's not peaty. It's still raining this morning from, uh, we've just had storms in the north of England, so everything is saturated and it's gonna rain again, so the fire will be all right. But it's all as best just to double check what the ground is you're working with, make sure it's nice and solid, no roots. And that's that's uh, and then save all your stuff to put over it when you're finished, and that is perfect. And sometimes you can get wood down in back of them. There it is, look. And that's like oh, bone dry clobber. So that's a, that's perfect for at least getting it going. Look at that. You can see that's the perfect wood ear specimen because it looks so much like an ear. Doesn't it? Look at that. You put them in the frying pan, they absolutely explode, but 
There's no reason why we can't put that in our stew. So, can you see? You just slice across in it with your saw and then it's easier to take out this material with either your axe, which I'll do because it's just quicker, but you can use your axe or your knife. That's a better way of seeing it there. Just That's just a rough, a rough thing and that, that'll hold it. Knife of choice for this trip is the custom SE3 custom handle by Luke over at York York Knife. Using a lighter this time mate, use what you've got, it's saturated everywhere here so use what you've got and prepare for where you are. Organic allotment! Oh. Yeah. Organic allotment look! So Joe's grown all these himself, Yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Put his heart and soul into it haven't you? Look at that mate, that's like aubergine emoji. That's alright isn't it, that one? That's a bit of a... That's a... That's, that's a handsome one. That's beautiful mate. There's not much goes better with the uh, lamb either, is there? I don't think. Like Moroccan innit? It? It? Yeah, it's, it's like, like that. soaks up the... Yeah. The... That's why they do um, a moussaka. Yes, oh yes. Yeah, like a moussaka. Oh, that's mint. We've got some lamb from a local butcher's. All the veggies from Joe's allotment um, and Joe's knocked up a little spice mix which we'll get into yes. and we're going to just cook a curry we've got a leg of lamb, half a leg or whatever or a bit of a leg of lamb and we're going to cook this curry for maybe four or five hours just nice and slow away from the fire finish, this, finish it with some coconut milk Pepper. Dr Pepper some people don't like green pepper, they don't like that bitterness that it brings. Yeah. Something different, isn't it? Here we've got some amethyst deceiver mushrooms and they're gonna go in to the pothole. Just to bring some nutrients and a little bit of umami flavour. Cooking with colour is important. Isn't it? Yeah, you've got to get Again, your colours. You know it's gonna taste good. Your purples, your flavonoids. Your, your vitamins, that's good, good stuff. So we know that this is going to reduce down. So we'll ram the, the uh, lamb on top of it. Let that reduce. And then after a couple of hours, we're going to put a few more bits of the veg in so they stay a little bit al dente. Nice bit of bone in there, look. Nice yeah. bit of fat on that. A bone in leg. Oh, Joe's got his spice mix, which he's put in this little jar. Would you like to talk us through it? Oh, mate, there's genuinely so many things in it. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Normally you can't remember and you're like, it's got uh, salt. It's got smoked, smoked, pepe, pe smoked paprika, yep. salt, pepper, freshly ground, uh, sumac, then it's got cumin, coriander, fennel, a uh, little bit of chilli powder, turmeric, a little bit of whole chilli. And cinnamon. <laughs> Right, that sounds amazing. What about seasoned salt and pepper? It's got salt in it. Let's have a smell. Oh, that's nice. That's got like a sweet, sort yeah, of oh, almost gar Moroccan. Garlic, garlic and thyme and oregano. <laughs> There's no point in asking him. There's no point in asking him. 
and then hopefully this all so this is we'll see i've had them break before and the back bit just come flying out and things go everywhere but this is is it would you say physics <laughs> physics or not yeah probably is so that should hold it's not definitely not biology or chemistry is it would you say it was re the pe <laughs> business whatever there you go we've got our fork stick in the back but also put a rock on there as well and there you go that's on gas mark probably gas mark four three or four and we'll leave that for the rest of the evening for a few hours and then when it comes to it when we've just got embers or when you want to like really jive it up a bit you can drop it down and that'll just hover off the embers change the uh, the gas mark there you go We've goofed because we thought, you know, we don't want to drink too much, so we'll get one bottle of wine each and make it a nice one. So we got a bottle of Chateau Nerf du Papa Smurf, as Joe hilariously said. So we got a couple of bottles of, uh, a bottle each of Papa Smurf, and we're realising now that it's a cork and we don't have a corkscrew. So we're in a bit of a pickle here, so I've just been trying to hammer it, I've put it in a shoe, because for any of you long time watchers, you'll know that I once opened a bottle of wine with a hiking boot, which was one of the highlights of my life. Yeah. Uh, and I've just been trying to do that and it was no, no joy. Papa Smurf want playing ball. So we're gonna try and administer some heat to the neck of the bottle with some sticks out of the fire. And then hopefully it'll, Joe's just warming it up in, with his body warmth. Cause we don't want the contrast of warm and cold to break the bottle. Administer some heat just below the cork and hopefully that should push the cork out enough so we can get out of it Science if not, we're just gonna have to stare at a couple of bottles of delicious wine while yeah. we eat our food <laughs> Worst things have happened That's it man. That's it Let's go So we're putting some heat from these underneath at the cork and I don't know man just hopefully science will sort it out because I'm sure I've seen a video where someone did it with like a blowtorch or something. Not with a couple of just burnt sticks. <laughs> oh. It's proper baghead stuff this, isn't it? No way, that's... <laughs> the light is going to blow up before you get any joy. Camp Bellows. Job's a good one. Nothing, nada, zip. That's gonna be hot though, so don't touch it. We're gonna have to push it in, aren't we? We've tried putting it in a shoe. We've tried putting it between legs and hitting it on top with a shoe. We've tried burning it. And it gets to a point where you just feel like a bit of a desperate weasel. <laughs> Give me my wine. <laughs> it's in that bottle, we can't get to it. Good bottle of wine as well. Is that too much up light? Too spooky that. Too spooky. Look, we're, we're hungry for these. Great Northern <laughs> Lager from a brewery I've never really heard of. Northern Punk. No. Northern they're Punk. Oh, they're real good. That is a coffee porter. A coffee porter. Uh, it's in there. And then you get this with each one that you get. Same with the wine 52. So you got something to read, something to eat, something to drink. Something to read, something to eat, something to drink. Oh look, if you can see there, but that's Russ and Bry. <laughs> My boys. My boys, Russ and Bry, Northern Monk. I'm gonna go for a Monk. <laughs> Woo! That's Lo good. Lovely looking camera, isn't it? It's nice, mate. It is. Well, yeah, many happy returns. It's not his birthday, but well, returning to the woods. Genuinely lovely, mate. I've gone that <sighs> Yeah, you, you know, you know the sesh. Mm. They're both good, out there. Super refreshing. <laughs> na 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 with our curry. Look at that. Just. 
Look at that. It's unbelievable, Jeff. What's all that marrow out there? Yeah. Oh, get it out. Six hour cooked leg of lamb. It's we chucked in um, a can of coconut milk near the end to for that richness. Look at that. Crazy amounts of meat in there, isn't it? So much meat. Is that one of your own spoons? Yeah. Been a while since it's been a spoon, right? Just, that is unctuous as well, isn't it? Thank you. Wow! <laughs> that is an amazing curry. The meat is melting. Isn't it? Is it melty? It's actually melty. That Look might up. be the tenderest thing we've cooked. Really? Mm. Because it was such a big joint, that's so tender, isn't it? It's like and it's maintained, it's moist as well. It's the most tender thing, I think, like I say. It's the most tender thing you've ever done, isn't it? <laughs> oh my word. Good. Yeah. There's a little bit of bitterness of the peppers there. And the aubergine, I love. That's nice, isn't it? And the coconut. Warm, chilli heat. Does this meat just look? Falls to pieces. Delicious. Lampers, look, this is the. Here we are. Slept like a dream. Uh, just to let your seat set up, really, there's me. We didn't. There's Joe, he's put his sleeping bag away. And fire's there. Just one one tarp we had. My roll mat, my Xtherm sleeping bag. Didn't bother with a bivy bag. And then I had my bug net on my head. Joe's got. I've got an old, I've got an old sleeping bag as a base. Like a waterproof layer, then I had um, I got my little sit pad, then I had my uh, air mat, and then I had a, I wrapped my wool what? blanket around me, oh. so that it didn't annihilate my down sleep. Yeah, wool well, blanket to protect him from fire. But actually, it didn't spit at all, I don't think. It wasn't spitty last night, was it? Was no. There wasn't any pine or out in there. Ah, beautiful stuff. <clears throat> right, we're going to make a move, we're going to get up. Get this squared away, deal with the fire, and then maybe go find somewhere to dunk us the junkus. You won't even know we've been here. We've got a decent hike out of here, but no trace left. We carry our litter out with us. We only had one bottle of vino last night, didn't even finish it. Nice. Couple of cans, a lovely curry. It was absolutely delicious. And so I feel pretty refreshed. Waking up to this beautiful view, and then I think we're gonna go and try and dunk the junk, are we? Yeah. He's saying yes, so uh, that's how you end it. That's how you end an adventure, washing all the, the fire smoke away and just having a bit of a uh, energy reboost. But we've got some trekking to do, so let's go. <sighs> that's one way to. Get the blood flowing. Ah, oh, he's a beast of a leg pumper, and it's a different story when you've got all bushcraft gear on you. Yeah. This is not ultralight backpacking. Whew. Axes, saws, cast iron, wool. wool. Worth it though. Beautiful day, and as I said before, we're just coming out of this huge storm and all the rivers are overflowing there's a load of flooding up north trees getting blown over all sorts and now today whew, it's stunning Lab. it's not like roadside cleaning and I, we, we get it that a lot of roadsides are just covered in litter but if you're walking out at woods and you've got your litter bag anyway 
you might as well fill it with the stuff that you're going past and help uh, just help bigger court. I know it's not a lot, but if we all do it, we can make a difference to the roadsides of the UK. Oh, no. There's another one. It's all coffee lids, look. Yeah, it cost me. Cost a, ah, yeah, cost a fortune. Oh, it's serene and sublime, isn't it? Oh, it's cold, yeah. Who would have thought it? The tingle effect. Mandy tingle. Mandy tingle. <laughs> uh, that's it. Highlights of the trip. Oh, just nice to sit around a fire again, wasn't it? It was lovely to sit around fire again. Oh, <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. There you go. And that spice mix you knocked up was an absolute treasure. A oh, delight. The curry was lovely, wasn't it? Curry was absolutely delicious. Yeah. And it was, it was just lovely just to be back out because autumn is truly in the air. Yeah. Back out doing bushcraft and there'll be more bushcrafting to come as we hang up our hiking boots and head deeper into the woods. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Is that almost good? Yeah. Right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Definitely not going under this time, are we? No. So tell him you love him. Love him. I love him. <laughs> he, lo <laughs> he loves him. Yeah. Much love. See you later. I'm like Jordan trying to rise on to the top. Now I'm trying to be an icon from the top. They were warden. I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month. Now I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden. I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month.